I will come back uh, to this uh, another section uh, in information analytics and uh, I want to first uh, thank you all that subscribe to this channel thank you and I want to proceed on another uh, applications for information analytics called MofoJ MofoJ is one of the uh, highly rated uh, software for movimentary analysis apart from past they they are not actually the same because uh, they perform different operation in metrics so what MofoJ could not do past can what past cannot do MofoJ can do so let's see uh, how we can explore this app and see what we have so today I want to start by um, showing us how to bring in our data into MofoJ. MofoJ takes different kind of data. For example, uh, it takes um, TPS, it takes um, NTS, it takes uh, text data, which we call row columns, and uh, it takes a morph a morphological. So, and likewise 3D data. So, uh, MofoJ can take those data. And uh, for you to bring the data to MofoJ, you must have, uh, have your data uh, landmarked. Of course, we, 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 have, we have done that in the past. So if you have not yet uh, uh, look at how to landmark data, we can we can check that in the uh, my some of my uh, uh, videos there. So, uh, but now we just want to bring in first uh, our TPS file, TPS file. So we break it down first at the file format. Then we also look at how to bring in text file. All right, text file could, could be uh, a CSV file or TSV file. All right, so it's basically uh, not a, just a normal spreadsheet, but a, a, a converted copy of it. So now we have to do, uh, while opening MofoJ, I'm dealing with MofoJ 1.0.01 now, 1.08.01. That is the latest version. As far as I'm concerned for now, so uh, you can uh, have a, a maybe in case I have is out, you can download and use just that's just the same thing. We just built on Java, all right. So now uh, you can just click on create project here, new project. All right, so I want to give it a name, let's say uh, Mofo project, let's call it Mofo. Uh, let's give it a name, Mofo project, all right. Then don't forget always by default it's always in two dimensional um by default always no here all right so just let it be so until otherwise specified maybe when the time comes when we begin to deal with other area or aspect we can now change that so let's call it a mofo db this other set name mofo db just give it a name that is a suitable anyway all right so now here this, this one is called morphological for, for a file format. This is called TPS. It's called NT, uh, NTS file format and it's called row column. The row column, otherwise, formerly called text, T-E-X-T, -E before, but it's now changed to row column. So it's a row column based data, which is spreadsheet based, but uh, it uses uh, T, uh, T, uh, 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 CSV or TSV, I mean, comma separated value and tab separated value. So you could use any one of those uh or even space separate value could be used as well so yeah so now if you check uh we have so far dealt with a tps file so i don't need to uh body with the information about tps file this is tps file format you can see all right so that's uh, the landmark so we have done that uh, in the past so i don't think we need to go into details about that so this is uh, id it can be IMG, which is image, it's its name. So the name convention is very important. Okay, so if I, I use IMG, I could use ID, depending on which one you prefer. All right, I've explained that in the past, so you don't need to go to dial details. So now I, I'm, I'm, I need to bring in the file here. Okay, so what I, what I need to select, I want to select TPS here first. All right, and I, I click on uh, browse to locate my file where I kept it. So, um, file is kept in uh, here so 
this is a TPS file, map for the combined landmark so I click on create. So it will read. So reading from TPS file, this, this file name, finish reading file. So this means there's no error. It means my file reads successfully. That is what it means. If there's any error, it will point it out immediately. You will see that they will give, give you one, which means there's error. So it will show you some kind of information regarding the error. So you can now go and fix it. So if I click on a project tree here, project tree, uh, you see my file is loaded here. Database file this is my database. Okay, this DB. This is under my project tree. So this is my project of Pro. I, have, I can have many databases here. I can have more databases added here to this project. This one, I can have another one added here. So there's no issue with that. So anyone I want to use at the part time, I have to select it. So I mean, anyone I'm working on part time to run my analysis, I have to select the database. All right, so that is that. Now, or, or data set rather. So now I've, I've brought in my data now. So, and it's, it's uh, working successfully. So if that is how to bring data set using uh, TSP. And then if you want to bring in the data also using a test, test so column data. So you can see that there's nothing here yet, nothing here yet. So we're just uh, looking at how to bring the data in. So I've got like a, a, a test column data is a very common one used in uh, Mofuji all the time because it has a way of handling of, of uh, yeah, yeah, in fact, it's better than TSP in Mofuji. Okay, I will explain why later. So if you if you see a sample of TSP files, this is a sample. The same thing we have done before, the same thing here. If you see this one, I show you how to, how to convert your TPS to this format, if you remember. Okay, remember how to convert it. You, you can use pass to do that. It's very, it's very easy in pass. So I don't want to go to details about that again. Okay, just upload your TPS file in pass, then um, it, it, will, it will open it in this format for you, then copy it and paste in Excel, delete the extra spaces, that's all. You are done. So you need to struggle with that. So we are, I have a, this particular one here now. So I can bring in this particular, bring in this, this file in now to see. So, so I have two of them here. I have one here. I have another one. So let, let's see. Let me bring in this one also uh, using uh, Mofuji. So I'm going to browse. I'm add another one here. So let, let's say I, I, I click on file. I'm going to data, new data set now, not, not new project this time around. Data set. I click here. All right, so I try to let me see. Um, I click on uh, test list now. I, I click on row column now. So go back to that same place. I click on uh, have uh, my show here. So I select this is the file now. CSV, you can see this is CSV file now. So I click on create. All right, I give the name. Let's give it a name. I call it a uh, Mofo Mofo DB2. For DB2, let's give it that name. Let's create now. It's giving me a reading test file from this one one, two lines read from data file. Finish so it means there's no error. That's what it means. So, if there's any error, you'll have seen error here, but it means this one also completes successfully. All right, so that, that is uh, if you check now, you have, you have two data set now on my tree. You have um, Mofo one, which is a Mofo DB, and the Move for DB2. So this is simply how to bring the time. You can delete, you can rename and remove if you want, don't want, can, and bring, bring in another one. So that is all you can do with the data in Move J. So anyone you want to use from the tool now, you are free to uh, to do. So I uh, want to challenge you about Move J. I will explain that later because Move J is different from other software that you can work and save your work. I mean, there are, there are part of your work you can save in Move J. Not all of them. They are graphics. They are not saved. So if you want to work on Mufuji, you have to get yourself prepared. All right. So while you are working, you will be exporting your data out immediately. I mean your graphics out, your, your charts, everything. You will be exporting them out and get your results out immediately. Uh, so that uh, when you save, when you, when you are done, you can you can, you can uh, close and save and close. So because many of the graphs, the graph or the chart you'll be doing, they will not be available when you are when you close Mufuji. You have to rerun them afresh. Though your data, everything will be there, okay? But uh, the graphs, the, the graphics, uh, or the charts, the, you, you will not be there anymore. So you, so you have to run the sort as fresh. You have to just click on run afresh. I will show you how to do that. So it's very simple. So for you to uh, see them again, all right? So 
that's, that's the only challenge with morphology because to not store them, to, to not save them for you, okay? There, there's no room for that. So you just, uh, you, but you can bring in all your, all your data like this to bring everything for you. You can see them, you can just rerun them afresh, okay? So that is that for today. I, I will see you in the next class when we'll be doing other things on the uh, other things series. Thank you so much for listening today. I'll see you in the next class.